Okay, this will be part four. I'm going to add font to this monogram that has these open lines here. So, once again, I'm going to type out my name. I'm going to select a different font. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to size that font down to fit my monogram here. Stick it in where I want it there. Center it up. I'm not really worried about this top to bottom, but eh. anyway, I've got that laid in there. So now I got to convert this to a path. So path, object to path. Now I need to, now I have a group of seven objects. So I'm going to need to object ungroup. And this is going to be kind of like the other one since this is differenced out these two are going to kind of burn together so I'm going to come over here while they're all selected and I'm going to use this make horizontal gaps between objects equal on my align and distribute menu that's going to evenly space those out now the last thing I really need to do here is bridge these letters and I always like to do these while after I ungroup the font and before I union them together the reason for that is then I can align to this letter individually. So now I'm going to select this rectangle, hold shift, select the A, and then I can center that bridge up on the A. And then I will control D to duplicate that bridge and drag it over here to the P. Let it snap to the, the corner there, bump it up a couple bumps. And then I can hold shift, select the P, and go path, difference, and I can come over here, select this rectangle, hold shift, select the A, path, difference. So now those two letters are bridged. Now I can drag a box around both of them and go path, union. Now that's all union together and both those letters are bridged. So on a normal monogram at this point, you would just select the monogram and go path, difference but watch the monogram you'll see this creates a problem I've lost a lot of details here all those open lines disappeared it didn't do as bad as the Superman did on the previous video but nonetheless I lost a lot of detail there so I'm gonna hit control Z to go back what you're gonna do on these this is probably one of the simplest ones to do you just have to understand that you can't difference it out here I'm just going to select the font and I'm going to come down here and hit this X down here on my color to turn the fill off. Then I'm going to hold shift and select black. That's going to turn the outline on. And then all I need to do on this type of monogram is select them both and hit path combine. And now that's all one path join together and I can send that to the cutter. I don't have to difference it, I don't have to union it. For the purpose of just cutting this out on the plasma table, all I have to do is combine that font with this monogram and I'm done. I can send that to sheet cam, put a cut path on it, and it's ready to roll. So on this type here, you're gonna to wanna to just combine your font, not difference it out. That's the end of part four, now on to part five.